it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So look at what we're finishing up today. This is the last step of an off the mat character. So we are going to put her on a foam board and she is big. So, you know, she's 30 inches. I think she's 30 inches or 33 inches, I forget. But um, depending on how you measure her. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her completely on this 30 inch board or this, yeah, 30 inch board. And this shoe right here is going to cut off a little bit, but as long as she's supported all along here, she's going to sit, uh, you know, on the table really well supported. Uh, she is super cute. This teddy bear is with HTV flock. So it's got like that velvet touch to it, which I absolutely love. And you can see like the black, the black is also HTV flock. And you can see it's just so much more vibrant than this foam board. It makes the foam board look really dull. Um, all right. So the first step in doing this is you want to grab a white pencil and you basically want to trace all around her. So what that does is it gives you an outline and we're going to cut inside that line. So you're going to trace this all around. You're going to cut inside the lines so that it doesn't pop out outside of this character. So when we go to put this character down on the cut foam board, it's going to be a much smaller version of her. So everything fits inside this picture, but it still gives us all the support that we want. So let me show you what that looks like. So I started cutting it. I left some of it so you could see it. So you could see here is my white outline. I've kind of cut her shape so you can see this is her leg. She's sitting down. Her shoe is not supported so we don't have that piece, right? But it's gonna be okay because it's still gonna give us the support that we want. So I left this part to show you how to cut it. I'm gonna cut inside the line. So let me move that out of the way. And you can see here, I'm gonna start up here and I'm just gonna go around. And I like cutting it in pieces like that so that I can just move things out. The other reason why I like it like that is because I'm cutting one continuous smooth stroke. It gives you a more smooth finish on here. We are gonna be putting the streamer paper so that it covers it up and looks much nicer just because I'm actually taking this to a demo. Um, I don't always do it because it's a lot of work, but I'm gonna show you how to do that today and then I'm gonna show you how to put the piece finally once it's uh, once, the, once the streamers are done, we're gonna do that as well. All right, I'm gonna cut up this last part right here. And while we're doing that, if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> please do, I appreciate all the support. All right, when I'm talking about cutting this stuff, you know, I don't always go exactly on the line. I just want to be inside the line. So you can see, watch, I'm just gonna go like that so this is kind of her overall shape i'm going to bring her back over here right now so you can see what that looks like on and i don't think i talked about it but her tennis shoe is white htv so it's got like that leather feel to it, which I'm super excited about. Okay. Now the bottom is going to be hanging out a little bit and I'm okay with that because it's going to have the streamers. It's also going past it because I, I want the foam board to be touching the bottom in case this is going to be sitting on the table propped up against something. Um, I'd rather that the foam board is touching the table rather than the actual cardstock pieces. So this is what it looks like. Let me show you what the back looks like. So you can see the back, you could see the, the black pieces going past it. This part up here, I might need to trim a little bit, but other than that, yeah, I'm gonna turn this back over and put her the way I want it and see It goes up a little bit past right here. And I think I'm gonna trim down a little bit right here and right here. This I'm definitely gonna trim right here. So I'm gonna take this off. And I'm gonna trim it. 
and I'm just eyeballing it. It's okay. I think this I'm going to trim a little bit as well. And this I'm going to trim a little bit. Okay, now we're going to put her back and see if now she's completely, the board is completely hidden in the back. which I think almost just a little bit right here is popping out. Other than that, she's completely hidden. So I think, actually I shifted it a bit and yeah, I'm gonna trim it just a little bit right there. All right, so now we're good. I'm gonna show you how to do the foam board. Okay, um, so you're going to get just streamer paper from the Dollar Tree, streamer paper, crepe paper, same thing. And we're basically just gonna cut it in strips and we're gonna do it this way, like going across. So, and I'm gonna label this real quick for my, so that I can remember. This is the glue part, because she's sitting directly on top of this, right? So I'm gonna put glue here. So we're actually gonna flip it to the back. This is the back, right? The back is gonna have the full streamers. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut off strips like this. So you're gonna use glue, and you start from the top, and you're just gonna glue down glue down and glue down okay so I'm gonna cut a few pieces to get us started um, and I'll show you the middle part just because it's easier to see so what I do is I take my barely art glue and I like this because the precision tip it's gonna be easy to do the glue right here I'm just gonna start in the middle just so that we can get we can get going and then I'm gonna put glue on the sides to do this first strip. Do a longer strip. Okay. So it's gonna go down and I'm just gonna fold it in. It has glue right here. So I'm kind of just pressing it. It's gonna be a little bit wet from the glue. And it won't all like, sometimes it won't stick right away. You'll need to put more glue. Then I'm gonna do the next row. And see how I'm just pressing? I love the streamer paper because it is so easy to work with. You can, it can take the shape that you want it to. I'm gonna do this one right here. You can put glue up here to get it to stick a little bit. Put glue on the sides. And I'll do this piece right here. So you can see it starts to take shape, right? On the top part, what I like to do is I like to run it like this because it's easier to cover it like this and then push down and add the layers. So that's gonna be the top and bottom. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Hopefully this makes sense. And then on this side, what's nice is because we're gluing it her on completely, this part you just need to kind of fold in. You can glue this down if it's easier for you to handle. And then we're gonna hot glue her down. So she's gonna cover up all these extra little pieces. Um, let me show you the top part of this. So I'm gonna add glue to the top part. And you want to be in the middle of the streamer or the crepe paper because that way you can fold down half of it will go in the front half of it will go in the back 
and it just gives you enough room to cover it up. So see, and then you push it down and you start layering it again. Let me show you what a full one looks like. So this is Toddler Bell. Okay, I'm gonna flip her over. This is what the backside looks like that we're gonna glue her on. And I actually have my hot glue gun going and I'm gonna bring her on so that you can see this. Okay, so she's gonna look like this. She needs some adjusting right now. I'm gonna adjust her right now. This needs to be tucked in a little bit more so you see we can start to get rid of some of this. Okay, um, now she has some cutouts right here. So I wanna add streamer paper right there so you can't see that. She also has a cutout in between her legs, but I want to add more streamer right there as well. So let's do that now, and then I'm going to show you how to glue that down. So I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Let's see. And I'm going to add... I forgot that she's right there. She has a gap right there, so... So she looks good. There's like a little bit of glue right there. I'm gonna clean this up by putting a clean strip down. Yeah, so that's clean. So. a little bit so I'm gonna take the glue gun right now and I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna glue it down I'm gonna put glue on her the feet just so that I can get this going so she is now glued down from the bottom so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna add a little bit of crepe paper right there to cover that hole to make it look neater. And it's just a little piece, so. Give me just one second. Okay. So this one's just a little bit different because she has these little holes. So I'm just gonna put this down like that. Okay. So now we're gonna cover up all the pieces. Make sure we're happy with everything. Okay, everything's tucked in. All right, so we're gonna start gluing her down. I'm gonna lift her from, I'm gonna put her this way. And I'm gonna lift her up. Now I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and start adding glue down. And make sure I'm getting it on the streamer paper as well as the board. And then we can stop and put her down. So that way every portion is glued down. And if you go from step by step, you have access to the rest of it still. Okay, so this is down. I'll lift this up, tuck everything in that you want. 
because this is the last chance that you're gonna be able to tuck in. And isn't she beautiful? Okay, so now remember, we don't want to, we don't wanna put glue in this section because it's gonna pop through, okay? And I always, always forget stuff like that. <laughs> so let me put in a longer glue stick and we're gonna glue down some more. Okay, so here we're gonna avoid this strip, but we can glue here and over here, okay? So let's do that. I didn't put any glue on this side because I wanted to get it down before it dries. So now I'm gonna add glue on this side. So we're just making our way through this piece. So remember, we wanna glue down well, I do want to glue down this streamer paper right here. Okay, so now I'm going to add glue here. Flip her this way. Okay, so I'm going to continue adding glue. Don't mind my dog. Okay, and we're almost done. We've got just this top part right here. Okay, and I'm gonna glue it down and then we'll be done and I'll show you what the back looks like. Okay. So this is the front show you what the front looks like. She's beautiful, right? And you see, she's gonna be completely supported here. And then here's what the back looks like. So the back is kind of clean with the streamers, right? And there you have it. Yay! <laughs> so I'm gonna finish up the other one and then glue it down, but you're gonna need, I like using Barely Art Glue because it does dry fast. Um, and it has the precision tip. And then I also like using my hot glue gun for the actual piece because it's a lot of glue that needs to go down. All right, let me know what you think. I will see you on the next character, the next project. And uh, yeah, check out the uselesscrafter.com because it's gonna have all of the um, all of the pictures, all the links to Instagram and the YouTube tutorials and the materials. All right, thanks guys, bye.